Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve two very interesting questions based on transistor biasing. Before I start with solution, I want you to try those questions first. So this is first question and this is second question. I hope you might have freeze the video and you have tried those questions. Now I am going to solve first question over here. See in first question, we have been given with fixed bias configuration of BJD. So here circuit of fixed bias that is given to us. We need to find IC, VCC, RB and beta. So these are the parameters that we are little bit to calculate over here. See with this circuit, we have base current, emitter current. So from base current and emitter current, one can calculate collector current IC, right? One should know for BJD, emitter current that is equals to collector current plus base current. So here collector current that is unknown quantity, right? So that will be emitter current minus base current. Here emitter current that is 4 milliampere and base current that is 20 micro ampere. See 20 micro in terms of milli that is 0 0.02. So if you take this difference, you will be having 3.98 milliampere collector current, right? Now, here at output side, if you observe, we have collector current, collector resistance, emitter current, VCE, then we can easily calculate VCC, right? How? By applying, by applying KVL at output. So let us apply KVL at output over here. So at output, you see VCC voltage is there. So VCC. And then here we have VCE voltage that is happening from plus to minus, right? So you can say from plus to minus VCE is negative, right? That is equals to potential drop across res resistance here. RC resistance is there and current through RC is IC, right? So from this we can have VCC. VCC will be RC IC. RC is 2.7 kilo and IC that we have calculated 3.98 right see kilo into milli that will get cancelled right and this VC on the other side that is getting plus and VC is 7.2 so you just solve this in calculator let me check what is my answer over here my answer for VCC that is 17.946 voltage so that is how one can have VCC now if you observe here we have RB over here that we need to find so here at input side now we have VCC IB RB that one can calculate and here we have VBE voltage right VBE for silicon it will be 0.7 volt so if you apply KVL at input so here you will be observing see VCC that is a supply so VCC that is a supply and another voltage in this loop that is VBE that is happening from plus to minus so I need to write minus VBE that is equals to here resistance is RB so RB into IB potential drop will be there, right? Now based on this one can have RB, right? So RB that is VCC that we have calculated 17.946 minus VB that is 0 0.7 divided by IB, IB is 20 micro. So 20 into 10 to the power minus 6. So if you solve this, if you solve this, you will be getting 862.3 kilo ohm, right? Now, see last beta that we need to find. So from IC and IB, one can easily calculate beta. One should know the relation, right? IC is equals to beta IB, right? So here beta will be 
IC by IB. Here, what is IC? IC that is 3.98 and IB that is 0 0.02 milli that you can say, right? So 3.98 in terms of milli, I am converting 0 0.02. So this will be probably 199, right? So beta over here, that is 199. That is how simply we can solve the questions, right? Let us have second problem over here. So in second problem, see we have given with emitter bias configuration. So you can observe here, emitter bias means RE resistance that is connected here. We need to find RC, RE, RB, VCE and VB. So this many parameters that we need to find over here. So if you observe this circuit carefully, so in that, see for a calculation of RC, here IC is given and here this terminal voltage and this terminal voltage that is given. So at collector voltage is 7.6. So here across RC potential difference is given as well as current is given. So RC can be calculated, right? Across RC potential difference that is VCC minus VC and here divided by current is IC. If you substitute the value then VCC that is 12, VC that is 7.6 divided by IC that is 3 milli. So 12 minus 7.6 divided by 3 milli if you solve this that will be 1.467 kilo ohm, right. Now here we need to find RE, RB as well, right. So if you want to calculate RE, then see here emitter voltage is there, but IE and RE both are unknown, right. So one cannot directly calculate RE. And if you want to calculate RB, then first of all you need to find what is IB and voltage at base, right. After voltage at base, you can calculate you can calculate IB, right? And then you can calculate RB. So here, if you observe beta is given. So from beta, one can calculate IB, right? How you see IC that is equals to beta IB, right? So here, IB is how much? IC divided by beta. IC is how much? 3 milli. So 3 milli divided by beta is 80. So this will gives you IB that will be how much? That will be 0 0.0375 milli ampere, right? Just solve that in calculator, you will be getting this. So now we have IB. If you calculate VB voltage, then we can calculate RB, right? So if you observe here to have a VB voltage, all we need to do is we need to see potential difference over here. So VBE, right? What is VBE? VBE that is VB minus VE. Based on that we can have base voltage, right? So here see VBE that is 0.7 voltage in case of silicon transistor, right? So 0 0.7 that is equals to VB minus VE that is given 2.4. So based on this we can have VB that is 0 0.7 plus 2.4 that is 3.1 voltage. Right. So that is how one can have VB. We have calculated RC1. Right. Now based on VB and IB. Based on VB and IB one can calculate RB. Right. See across RB potential difference is VCC minus VB, right? So VCC minus VB divided by current is IB. So VCC is how much? 12. VB that we have calculated it is 3.1 divided by IB that we have calculated that is 0 0.0375. And this is there in terms of milli. 
right so resistance in terms of kilo ohm that will be rb is equals to 237.33 kilo ohm that is how we got the value of rb right so now we have rc rb and now we need to have re see here to have re first of all you need to have ie right once you have ie then directly one can have re so what is ie you see ib that we have calculated see ib that we have calculated right as well as ic is given to us right so from this we can have ie for bjt ie is equals to ic plus ib ic is 3 milli ib that is 0 0.0375 so we can have ie that is 3.0375 milli right so now we have ie so based on that we can have re right so how to have re so across re potential is ve right and divided by current is ie so ve is how much 2.4 and ie is how much 3.0375 if you solve this you will be getting re let me check what is my answer re is 790o see divided by milli ampere current is there right so you will have to multiply this in 2000 so that will be 790 so now we got rc re rb and vb only vce that we need to have so vc is quite simple you see across transistor vce is how much here you can see vce that is vc minus ve right what is vc 7.6 and what is ve 2.4 so this is 5.2 voltage right so that is how we can have all the parameters right so first of all you need to do some practice so for that you need to follow videos in sequence after that it will be easier for you to solve questions i hope you have understood all those things till if anything you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video